Hey challengers, good morning. Here we are. We're on day seven, um, our final day of our seven day Bible reading plan here. And I am so excited that you guys made it through those seven days. I think in my opinion that these last few days went pretty fast. I hope they did for you. And my hope is that um, you had the opportunity to go through um, all or at least half of these scriptures and keeping them in front of you as you have gone uh, about your week. And so um, today our verse is uh, comes from John 16 uh, verses um, 33. And it says, these things I have spoken to you that in one you may have peace in the world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer i have overcome the world i don't know about you but being a mom a wife um leading my own fitness um company and then also um co-leading with my husband uh pastoring a church we have experienced a lot of tribulations over the years um, and each week there seems to be a new hurdle to overcome. But I just love what John 16, 33 says. It says, in this world you will have these tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And so today our final day is the thought I wanted to leave with you is that I am an overcomer. You are an overcomer, not because of what you do, but because of Christ in you. And so my hope for you these last seven days is that you just begin to dive into understanding a little bit more about how your um, your identity in Christ is is primarily that is who you are and how God sees you and keeping in mind that your do is not your who and so um, I hope that in the weeks to come and months to come that you would just remember that that your do is not your who no matter what you're doing in life whatever role that you're playing whatever hat you're putting on um, whether you're starting a new job whether you're coming into um, a, a new relationship with a boyfriend or um, you're, you're, you're embarking on the journey of marriage or motherhood, wherever it is that your journey is, I, my hope for you is that you've grabbed a hold of the sense that your do is not your who, but your who is found in Christ. And so we've had a fun time together. We've had um, the last few days, we've talked about being a child of God. The confession of I am a child of God, we read that in John, um, that you are a royal daughter. How God sees you ladies as beautiful and as royalty. We also talked about how you are chosen, that you are chosen and set apart to do the roles in which God has called you to do. Oh, one of my favorites is the reminder of that I am forgiven, that you are forgiven from your past mistakes, your past hurts, maybe things you didn't know that you did or that you did, that you're forgiven. The other thing I love is that I am created for good works. Man, the purpose of our lives is to let God use our life for his purposes so that he gets the glory. And God has created and has given you ladies passions, desires, things in your heart for you to use for his glory. So I hope that as you are diving into this, that you can see that God has set you apart to do some great things, man, and that you are an overcomer. That's what we were talking about today, that you can overcome the things because Christ overcome the world, you know? And then the other thing is that you are more than a conqueror, that you can that you can take on these tasks, that you can do these things that God has called you to do, and you can do it with a whole heart understanding that no matter what comes at you, that your do is not your who, but is found in Christ. I love you ladies. I hope these last seven days have been as beneficial to you as they have been for me. I just want to thank you for uh, trusting in me and allowing me to help coach you and mentor you and walk alongside of you along this journey. I'm always um, available. If you need me, go ahead and you can leave a message via Facebook or Instagram. Um, and I'd love to connect with you. I'm so honored that you were a part of these last seven days. And I hope to see you in another one of my challenges again. Have a great day.